how do you know that what your client is saying is 100% credible, 100% true? Right. We know. And um, uh, we want to uh, uh, scientifically confirm that. Okay. So, so you've talked to her. She's told you her full story. So far, you trust her unequivocally. Yes. Now, I, I just want to read your complaint here. I was reading this this afternoon, and it says, based upon the timing as well as the fact that there are no other possible men that I had sex with that could be the father of this baby, that's sort of the basis of this claim. To me, that sounds like, and I'm going to be honest with you here, she had sex with other men. She believes it's Justin Bieber which makes the cynics say, well, wait a second, if she had sex with other men, how do we know it wasn't one of those other men? Right. Well, I mean, in the relevant time period, mm -hmm. she wasn't having sex with anyone else. Okay. And that's how we know that Justin Bieber is, in fact, the father of the baby. Um, that's really what it all boils down to. But I'll again harp on the, um, we need the paternity test to verify that scientifically 100%. And that's what we're asking for at this point. It's really a modest request. We're not asking for an exorbitant amount of money. We just need him to step up and take the paternity test. Why come out publicly on this? Why not privately do it, do it out of the press? Because, guys, people are saying, wait a second, she must be a scorn fan. She's just come up. She's trying to get money out of Justin Bieber. He's America's hero. Why would she take this public if she didn't try to embarrass him or try to trick him into giving her money? Just to be clear, we would love to resolve this mm -hmm. in a private, confidential, and reasonable manner. And if Justin Bieber, through his attorneys, would like to contact us and uh, open up a dialogue, we'd be happy to engage in that. But thus far, we have not heard from them whatsoever. So at this stage in the game, you know, we're left with no other choice. You know, in this, uh, in this claim that you filed, there is a lot of talk of how the situation happened, that she was out there at the concert, she was near the front row, he sort of singled her out, she comes up, they have an encounter, the details of the encounter are sordid, maybe a little embarrassing if you look at it, she's talking about he didn't last very long, all that kind of stuff. Again, I think the point here is that people will say, okay, if, if, if she did in fact have his baby, she wants that paternity test, why bring out all the details about the way he did this and he wanted to be all over her and just some of the words that were used were kind of like he wanted to tear my clothes off. Right. Why all that? Well, again, you know, we have a responsibility to uh, uh, present uh, credible evidence under oath. And uh, it was important for us to make sure that we had the details correct and that, uh, that those details were verified and signed by our client. Um, again, we wanted to be very clear about this encounter, and uh, we felt it was our responsibility as attorneys to make sure we got the, uh, the encounter correct, and uh, we, can, uh, we can verify those. All right, here's Justin Bieber. He took to Twitter himself on this issue. He said, I'm going to ignore the rumors. I'm going to focus on what is real, an opportunity to help by doing what I love. Judge me on the music. Love y'all. And, and, you know, I think what surprises people about this particular lawsuit is the Justin Bieber we know, he's friendly, he's good to people, and I guess the idea here is he's not coming forward, he's not trying to reach out, he's dismissing this as a rumor, but, you know, I just have to say, there is going to be a thought here, guys, that she put herself into this situation, that how many fans, how many women around the world want Justin Bieber? So she puts herself into this situation, and then all of a sudden she comes back and she says, oh, well, he's responsible. He's got something that he has to live up to. What do you say to that? Because is this simply about how he, in your mind, impregnated her? Or is it about, hey, she might be a woman scorned who's upset that she didn't give, he didn't give her her number afterwards? Yeah. Um, you know, under the California Family Code, mm -hmm. both parents have a mutual obligation to support their children, all right? We're not asking for anything, uh, you know, excessive, but uh, this, this child, if it is in fact Justin Bieber's child, which we believe it to be, uh, should be at least raised in a, a comfortable middle class uh, standard, you know? So that's what this is really about. If she's not telling the truth, she's looking at a perjury claim, to be honest with you. That's a couple years in prison. And uh, Mariah is well aware of all the possible consequences that could result from um, this not being true. We have every reason to believe in her story, and that's why we put our names on this lawsuit. We filed it in good faith, um, and we, we stand by her.
What do you do if the paternity test checks out that Justin Bieber's not the father? Well, and they, and by the way, guys, they come after you. They come after Mariah, and they say, look, it wasn't Justin Bieber. Now, guess what? We're suing you. You're going to be in court. Right? Well, we, we think that's highly unlikely uh, based upon the evidence that we have, not all of which has been released in the media by any means. There is credible evidence that's going to support that he is the father of this baby. But in response to your hypothetical question, if uh, it comes back negative, he's not the father, Justin Bieber moves on with his music career, and we certainly wish him the best. We have no animosity towards him whatsoever. All right, Mark, I, I like Justin Bieber's music. You know, this is not an anti-Justin uh, Bieber suit. This is, we're just doing our jobs as lawyers. We did our due diligence before, before filing this suit. But arguably, by bringing this case, it's a huge boon to you guys. I mean, obviously. And again, I mean, yeah, again, you're, you're doing yeah. your job as lawyers, but if this actually goes forward, you, you make know, an answer. Another, another lawyer just told me recently that uh, uh, it's just another client. And that's, that, and that's true. I stand by this. Okay. Anybody who comes into my office, regardless of, uh, of, of coming on, on TV and, and talking about celebrities, is just another client. I take a look at the facts in front of me and make a determination, an unbiased determination as an attorney.